Tinker Workshop here. Hey, I'm gonna go through how I clean and maintain my Axiom CNC. A lot of you have been asking questions. What should I be doing? What should I be cleaning? How should I be cleaning? What tools and materials I need to even do that? So I'm gonna walk you through my process and kind of give you a, a sneak peek into how I keep my machine running as best as I possibly can. Let's check it out. All right, everyone, so I have the Axiom AR8 Pro. However, these tips and tricks will apply to all the machines out there. So I'm gonna walk you through what I do and go through that process. I'm gonna be calling out parts and pieces here on the machine so you guys understand what I'm referencing in this tutorial. So the first thing we have is our linear rails. We're gonna see on the x-axis here, we have a linear rail top and bottom. And this guy here, uh, right in the middle, is going to be our ball screw. Now, if we come over to the z-axis, you'll see we have a linear rail here. And we also have one on the other side, and the ball screw in the middle as well. For your y-axis, we're going to come underneath the machine, and we're going to see our ball screw right here in the middle. And then your linear rails are on the underside of each edge of the machine, running the entire length front to back. So those are the areas that we are going to be concerned with today, ball screws and linear rails. But before we get to those, I'm going to jog the machine all the way to the back and out of my way so that I can clean the tabletop first. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is take some compressed air and clean out all of the linear rails. We also wanna make sure to get back in behind the Z carriage here as well as inside the Z axis. Be sure to move your spindle around so that we're getting in all of the areas and making sure everything is nice and clean. For the Y-axis rails, we're just gonna come in right here and blow the rails off. I know for me, I get a lot of buildup in here between the uprights and the table, so I'm gonna make sure to blow out this area. Then we'll come underneath the machine and blow off the ball nut and ball screw for the Y-axis. Now that we've blown off any excess debris, we're gonna take a nice lint-free cloth and some rubbing alcohol clean off the linear rails and the ball screws on each axis. So we're just going to put a little bit on there, not too much. What I'm going to do is just get in here and wipe these rails down. I want to make sure that they're all nice and clean. I'm getting into all of the grooves to get all of that grime out of there. My tip for cleaning the ball screw, because uh, you can sit and wipe the screw like this, but it's not gonna do much for you. So what I like to do, and please be careful that you don't get your hand caught, please don't be stupid, is I'm gonna run the axis and apply a little pressure to the ball screw. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna get right into those grooves and get all of that gunk out of there. So I'm gonna run this all the way to both ends in each direction, all the way across. Once the carriage is on the opposite side, I'll then come on the opposite side of the carriage, come back and make sure that I'm wiping down the entire ball screw. And as you can see, I'm getting a lot off of these ball screws, but they're nice and clean now. The last component of the maintenance is this three-in-one lubricant. Uh, I'm specifically using the PTFE lubricant it's just a favorite of mine. All of the three-in-ones work really well. I just prefer this particular one and I've had great success with it. So what I'm gonna do here is take it and just add a nice light coat to the linear rails. And then for the ball screw, what I'm gonna do is take one of these synthetic brushes or you can use another clean rag, and I'll just follow underneath the ball screw as I add the three-in-one to keep from dripping. 
Now once I've got it on there, I'll run the axis over and brush that lubricant into the grooves, making sure that it's getting into the ball nut on the carriage. And that's it. All right guys, I hope that was super helpful for you. I know for me, that kind of maintenance regime is what keeps my machine going in tip top shape. Obviously I didn't show you every single axis, but the process is the same for each. Make sure they are clean. Make sure you get into the grooves of those ball screws. That's where you're gonna find your most buildup of grit and grime. Uh, and then make sure you're oiling with that three in one. Go back on every rail, every ball screw, and just make sure that, it, and you don't need a lot. It just takes a little bit of that three in one uh, to keep your machine maintained. I do this about once a week. However, when my production ramps up, I'm usually at least blowing off and cleaning once a day and then oiling as needed. Um, you know, you're gonna find what maintenance schedule works for you, but have a maintenance schedule. Do the maintenance. That's gonna make your machine last that much longer uh, and be more productive for your business, your side hustle, whatever it is you're doing with your machine. So I hope this was super helpful for you guys. Go make something awesome. Once again, Chris with the Tinker Workshop. We make crazy possible.